My name is Marcus Faust, DevOps SE with Rubrik, and today I would like to talk about Rubrik's integration uh, within ServiceNow. So as many of you know, ServiceNow is a cloud-based platform that provides IT service management, or ITSM, um, to the end users as a service. Now some of these ITSM items include incident management, uh, change management, request management, configuration management, and just to name a few, the list uh, goes on. Now in today's day and age, ITSM needs typically bleed into infrastructure operations, more often than not requiring um, a separate system for management and integration. Now what makes ServiceNow such a flexible and powerful platform is that they already have all of the tools they need for IT operations management or ITOM, otherwise known as ITOM. Now these ITOM components uh, include monitoring, discovery, service mapping, orchestration, and provisioning. So today, Rubrik has an existing integration within ServiceNow in the form of a custom application, or what ServiceNow calls a scoped application. Now today, this application takes advantage of the orchestration and cloud provisioning components within ITOM. And in the future, as we continue to develop the module, uh, we want to integrate into the other areas as well, monitoring, discovery, and service mapping. Now, what does this application look like to the end user or to an admin? Um, and let's, uh, let's take a look at that. So uh, within ServiceNow, this uh, rubric application, or app as I call it here, will be installed into a ServiceNow instance. When an end user or an admin logs into ServiceNow, now depending on whether they have a management role or an admin role, they will see a rubric dashboard that provides information about the data protection services within rubric. Such information as uh, a 24-hour backup status, how many jobs were successful versus failed, um, SLA membership, how many VMs are currently being protected, and in what uh, policies or SLA domains versus unprotected. Now from an end user perspective, when the end user logs in, uh, the rubric app has added items into the service catalog for that particular user. Now these items include uh, provision and protect, uh, a workflow around file recovery, live mount, as well as SLA assignments. So with the provision and protect workflow that we have within the service catalog, basically the rubric application is going to add a dropdown into your existing provisioning form. So if, a if a, an end user wants to provision a virtual machine, they typically fill out the form. Uh, we'll have that extra dropdown in the form that has the list of SLA domains that the user can choose from. Once they select that, the virtual machine will be automatically provisioned and protected within Rubrik. They don't have to do any additional uh, functions or open tickets. Now within file recovery, we actually have a workflow around that where we have a form that interacts with the cluster in real time as they're filling it out. Um, once they find the file that they're looking for, uh, that file will be automatically recovered for them. So we also have a live mount workflow where the end user can choose a protection point, uh, a point in time, uh, and that's uh, for the entire virtual machine. Now, Rubrik will actually spin this up instantly on the Rubrik cluster, and it's uh, running directly off of Rubrik as a data store. We also have a workflow around SLA assignments where the end user or admin can modify the SLA domain membership of the virtual machine or object being protected. Okay, so that's basically how the front end of the application works. Now on the back end, um, we're actually talking from ServiceNow into the customer private network. So a lot of the communication is happening from within ServiceNow, going over a secure uh, connection over the internet, basically over SSL, um, and it's hitting uh, what's called a mid-server. So a mid-server within ServiceNow is a service that either runs on Linux or Windows, um, and it provides that secure connection back to your ServiceNow instance. And this also proxies the requests uh, that are coming from uh, the ServiceNow cloud. So from the mid-server, we're actually speaking back and forth uh, via REST. So this is leveraging our REST API or our full coverage REST API. And this is all happening within the customer's uh, private network. So why is all of this important? Why are we integrating into ServiceNow and why are we uh, leveraging orchestration on automation? It's basically to leverage the power of self-service. So if we uh, highlight self-service here, it's a very powerful item. So I'll give you a scenario. Let's say if we didn't have uh, the current integration and a user is provisioning a virtual machine. Now once that virtual machine is spun up, at this point it's unprotected. 
And typically the end user would then have to create a ticket that then gets assigned to, let's say, an IT technician. Now, at this point, it could take anywhere from an hour or even up to an entire day, depending on how busy that technician is, to receive the ticket and then log into Rubrik and make that SLA domain assignment. Now, that's fine for a single virtual machine, but if you think about the 500 to maybe 1,000 virtual machines that need to be provisioned throughout the year, now, of course, it depends on your organization, but that's a significant time, uh, amount of time. Now, with this integration, if we can just leverage uh, the uh, protection of the VM within the provisioning itself, we're actually saving a significant amount of time by doing that. Now, therefore, we can actually free up resources to actually accomplish your business goals in a much faster, more efficient manner. Thank you for watching. And if you're interested in learning more about this integration or any other rubric feature, please contact your local account team uh, for a live demo. Thank you.